forgot best not to be on the ground when, it, when you die. Yeah, you don't want to end up being 20 feet tall. See, that was a far calmer uh, exhale. Just like, oh yeah, I completely knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I think it's because the supernova gives you enough time to gather your thoughts. Like, ah yes, this again. <laughs> There's our pilot. Ready to get this beauty off the ground? What can I do for you? Hmm. And you're lucky I don't have your ground for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, let's get back out there. I actually want to hear what uh, the other guy had to say. Mm. Which other guy? There are several of those. Well, it's been since first episode that we actually talked about Gabbro? who he was. Gabbro? No, 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 no. None, none of the guys out in space. Uh, explorer dude with one leg who went out on oh, this planet. The guy who found found the um the the thing on this planet. Okay. I mean, you could yeah, go find the, him. The, the bramble seed. You have a giant fucking ship. You could go there. Correct. I went there last time, but I didn't get a chance to actually like go through the talk. His dialogue. Yeah, the dialogue with him. Yeah, we go talk to him. It went big blue. That's that. That is very true. When you got to him, you talked to him for about five seconds, then he exploded. Because then I was like, "What's that?" Oh. <laughs> I I believe I believe your exact words were, "Why is it blue?" <laughs> <laughs> Why is it blue? Why is it getting closer? Apologies for everyone who's watching this. Oh god, the frame rate. Yes. <laughs> Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I actually can't even read that. If you wanna if you wanna read these, you're gonna have to read them out loud. Okay, I can read them if you do that. Feldspars camp. Hollow vine. It said harmonica signal for this one. It says B to hold to view rumor. I think you had to back up slightly. I don't know about that much. <laughs> Esker signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Nothing more to learn there. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No. That's not good. I don't like that. It's harmonizing. <laughs> harmonizing with the harmonica? Yeah, like the frequency is just right to where it's copying it. And it sent out a spore or a seed because it matched so well. Interesting theory. I can neither confirm nor deny that theory. Feldspar hinted that a secret to reaching the core of Giant's Deep lies at the end of the hollow vine they crashed their ship into. To find Feldspar's ship, I'll want to go to the tail of the end of the tail end of the anglerfish skeleton and look for a flickering light in the fog. So it looks like you aim with the center crosshair on the screen. I don't have a center crosshair. Uh, the oh. two, the four blue lines. Ah, oh, that wouldn't make sense. Where they intersect. There you go. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. I think that's good for now. Okay. What? You gotta, uh, leave ship log. There you go. And the frame rate immediately recovers a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why the ship's log just hates the frame rate. I'll try and clean it up in editing as best I can. If I recall correctly, the ground is below you.
Very skillful backwards flying. Very impressive. I have no idea if it's intentional or not, but it definitely seems to be. <laughs> well, essentially, I was like, well, that'll do. Fair enough. Escorte moi? Nope. <laughs> Hello, water. This is an interesting place for your ship to be. I'm sorry, I'm just imagining the call to ground control to say, uh, ground control, I crashed into a river. Can you come get me? Uh, ground control specifically, I am currently attempting to land on the side of a cliff. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting idea, isn't it? It is a no my structure and I am landed. I accept this. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, look, grass. <laughs> Not in the space or water. <laughs> the only problem, there's gravity here. Your jetpack doesn't work very well in gravity. Not this much gravity, at least. Danger, ghost matter detected nearby. Do you remember how to detect ghost matter? Yeah. Okay, just checking. If you didn't, I would remind you, because that's a mechanic of the game that you haven't interacted with in a while. Doesn't mean I know how to get rid of it. That's true. Hmm. hmm. If only you had some kind of vehicle that could move upwards. Better than your jetpack can. <laughs> if only. Jetpacks have better maneuverability. How convenient, like. Thank you. <laughs> that was actually amazingly convenient. It's like, yo, you're looking at a, at a mural? Here, let me give you some sunlight. <laughs> so they crashed. They landed. Down, crash landed. I crashed. You definitely crashed, yes. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Hey, well, that's just not my first thought to that. <laughs> the fact you keep jump scaring yourself with the map is hilarious to me. Thingy. Okay. Just so that you are aware, my tool belt is very up. Up? Upwards. Like, it is, like, currently in the way of be seeing things. Probably has something to do with the differing of heights every time you, you go through the loop. That's my guess. It probably gets more out of sync every time you go through a loop. And considering how many times you've died today, uh, there's been a few of those. Whoa, 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 what was that? Yeah. It's doing a thing. Okay, that's how it... maybe. I don't know. It's a spinning thing. It do be spinning, though. Sadly, it won't let me interact with it. I 
I'm afraid I can't answer that question, astronaut. I know I need a thingy from somewhere on some some other world of a thingy. I'm only doing this because I can. <laughs> Jetpacks do make crossing ga chasms much easier. Well, but I wanted to see what was beyond the waterfall. There's always secrets behind the waterfall. Always. Or death. Or death. That's <laughs> like very I true. Found out very quickly. Ooh. Secrets behind the waterfall. <laughs> Words. You have to press a button. I believe it's B. Mining site 2B. Interesting form of technology, though. A skeleton. A Nomai skeleton. Foolish Nomai oh over here. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Way to yo. Hmm. want to die, but I think that's the same kind of, uh, zoom zoom, the schloops. The schloops? The does, but the ship does. Hmm. Your, your race does have a tendency of stealing technology from the Nomais, because it was left behind by them. Considering that the one thing that powers the engine is a Nomai thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure it's fine. Shoop de whoop. Shloop de schloop. Shoop de schloop. Don't forget to turn your helmet light back on. There you go. <laughs> I don't think I want it on. Hey! There you go. <laughs> Slap myself in the face with it. Please do not damage the brand new controllers. I, I am fully aware. <laughs> <laughs> so they were mining the ship? They were mining things here. It it was called Mining Site well, 2B. Uh, I mean, specifically the sparkly rocks. The sparkly rocks. Didn't we see those sparkly rocks somewhere else? Yeah, in uh, I forget if it was called a mine or if it was called just a cave. The, the cave cavern mine thing. The training area. Had, yeah. Hmm. Perhaps. That that one very disturbed miner was mining. <laughs> it's true. He was very concerned about everything. He's probably seeing some shit. Is that Dino or Oino? Dino. Dino. I'm still amazed by how much ore the ash would... By how much ore the... Oino. 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 I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Psycat. Isn't this the ore for remaining towers being built on the Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. 
No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Coleus, I am relieved by our clan's decision to use Timber Hearth's ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Psychad, if they're sealing off all the entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. <laughs> I love the pun. Oh, you know, I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. <laughs> <laughs> How else would he improve? <laughs> uh, the Nomai are great. I love them. Or at least those Nomai. That means there is a down section. Because as above, so below. Let us see if that theory will stand. Just step over and know my skeleton for no reason other than I don't. Crunch, crunch. Good jump. Thing? That be thing? Ash Twin Projection Stone. Still have yet to figure out how to actually use this. Or... There it is. It looks like it's the right shape, but it looks like you might have missed. Mm. Try from the other side. This is one thing I'm going to help you with because you got it right. I think VR is fucking you right now. Pick it back up. Ah, uh, there you go. There was a there was a button that said insert, rather than just drop. A little bit. Oh, there you go. Right there. Ah. Uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mister miming it right here. That's accurate. I'm not going to fall off. You're going to fall off. <laughs> I'm sure that was a thing to kind of... Oh, yes, a light fixture. Just lying around here. Oh. It looks like it's the same kind of pedestal. Yay, more text to get to read. <clears throat> Yarrow, my gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh, you know, this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ashwin project. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Oh, we know. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful. If you would, the more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. That is interesting. Hmm. Yarrow is yellow. Yarrow was yellow. That's true. Oh, you know, Eno was blue. blue. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't think Oino made it. <laughs> I don't think Oino made it either. He just—he seems pretty dead. <laughs> Assuming that is Oino. Hard to tell, really, considering he's a skeleton. Or she. Did we know if Oino was a he or a she? I don't remember. Ah, uh, one way. One way elevator. Oh, down we go. Hmm. It's a good thing you're in a spacesuit. Quite. 
Just Batmaning up right here. Batman stance. It's very convenient. If you ever accidentally fall off the safety railings, you just have to make your way to the tractor beam. It's almost like you thought of some Nomai being kind of stupid. <laughs> I mean, they did also think to build railings. I think they probably take OSHA pretty seriously. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be kind of irritated if that was the only thing down here. Hmm? Is that all? The gamer said to me, say that they score. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't answer that question, astronaut. I, I, know <laughs> I know, I just like practicing my howl voice. Ooh, good jump. It does That's seem to go back up to here. Probably going to be a no. Everything else will be it's just a simple platform for you to jump off of in case you fell down. And didn't figure out that that was an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> It's a strong possibility there, astronaut, but I'm afraid I can't answer that question. Speaking of falling down. That'll do. I mean, geysers do propel you with quite a bit of force. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of the corner of the room for a second. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Once again, the map jump scare is amazing. Self jump scares. Fuel level critical. That's fine, I meant to do this. Ow. Ow. Vitals low. That's fine. <laughs> Ouchies. <laughs> Ow, my organs. <laughs> I taste my kidneys. <laughs> taste my kidneys. Delightful. <laughs> Where to now, astronaut? Uh, attempting. But just exit the valley? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why would I want to leave here? It's so spectacular. I can see why. Astronaut versus trees. Who will win? Fight. The lumberjack back in town is just like, I hate that tree. It is like, yes, I, I can agree. I also hate that tree. Astronaut giant spaceship versus one one woody boy. Who else gonna win? <laughs> that tree just knock you into another area. Rock. <laughs> I mean, yes, that is a rock. It's just not any rock. It's a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered picking up more jetpack fuel? I'm sure it's fine. You're on an oxygen rich planet. Yeah. Unidentified signal nearby. The quiet shade in the ancient glade. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> um, I didn't realize there was an orchestra here. That would disturb the hell out of me. But, yeah. I guess I should. Fix. Cockpit is damaged. Landing camera is damaged. Duct tape. Duct tape and jumping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how you fix it. Yep. It makes 
the towel. <laughs> <laughs> that works. It does work. That is getting further away. Unidentified signal nearby. Chip log updated. Signal identified. Grove shard. Frequency discovered. Quantum fluctuations. Foolish <laughs> 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 Hearthian astronauts. <laughs> I don't know why, but Aku is just in my brain today for some reason. It got very dark all of a sudden. Oh. Yep. To blueies does happen. It's always dark in the ancient way, the quiet shade across the old bark. And a perfect section. Hobby, hobby, ha!